awesome. His name is glorious. His name heals. His name delivers. His name conquers. There is victory in His name. There is glory in His name. We bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Your name is powerful. Your name is excellent. Your name is beautiful. Your name heals. Your name restores. Your name resuscitates. Your name revives. Your name reinstates. Your name blesses. Your name cures. Your name heals. Your name strengthens. Your name is powerful. When the ocean hears your name, they divide it. The mountains, they hear your name and they tremble. The name that is above every other name, that at the mention of that name, every knee bows and every tongue confesses that he is Lord. We bless you, Lord. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea, your name. in our lives thank you for your awesomeness thank you for your mercy thank you for counting us worthy to be among the living today thank you for the gift of life thank you for sparing us thank you Lord for bringing thank you Lord 
for bringing us into your presence the bible says in your presence there is fullness of joy may we all live to here blessed may we live here today blessed may we live here today healed may we live here today restored may we live here today resuscitated may we live here today revived let your word come with power let your word come with conviction let your word come with healing let your word come with deliverance let your people rejoice at the end of this service and let your name be glorified i pray for open heaven in this service let the angels of god ascend and descend break down every heart desire to the glory of your name and to the shame of the devil in jesus mighty name we pray can i hear a bigger amen can they win and shout a bigger amen hallelujah let's celebrate the king of kings the lord of lords celebrate jehovah celebrate the el shaddai celebrate him celebrate god 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 hallelujah you know the reason why you must always celebrate god is that without god you are nothing hallelujah paul apostle say i am who i am by the grace of god no matter the level you are you are you are that level by the grace of god am i talking to somebody god has not may not have allowed some things to happen in your life for his own glory so any level you see yourself any every day you wake up you must thank god hallelujah because life he that has life bible say a living dog is better than a dead lion hallelujah learn how to value life not only when money is in your pocket appreciate god for life there are many billionaires that die today there are people with these dollars and pounds you're looking for they have just died today they are no more hallelujah but here you are you are still standing and you remain standing till jesus comes i said you remain standing till jesus come you remain standing until you manifest your destiny you remain standing until you prosper you remain standing until you break through you remain standing until you make it you remain standing until you succeed in the name of jesus so you must appreciate god once again let us celebrate the almighty god thank you i am grateful oh lord we are grateful oh lord can i have volume here for all you have done for me for us all we are grateful oh we are grateful lord King of glory for all you have done for me. Oh, yes, Lord, we are grateful. Oh, Lord, Father, we are grateful. We are grateful for life. We are grateful for the provision. We are grateful, oh Lord, for counting us worthy to be among the living today. We are grateful for the air we are breathing. We are grateful for the strength in us, for the wisdom, the preservation, the protection. We are grateful for everything you have blessed us with. We are saying thank you, Father. May your name only be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are grateful for our wives, our children, our husbands, our spouse. We are grateful for our houses, our cars, the clothes we put on. It will have been us in the mortuary. It will have been us in the wheelchair. It will have been us in that oxygen. It will have been us in that hospital. It will have been us eating from the dustbin. It will have been us in that accident, in that plane crash. It will have been us in that, in that shipwreck. But here we are standing, saved by your grace, redeemed by the blood. We appreciate you forever, Lord. 
Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's celebrate our Father in the Lord, the harbinger of the last covenant. Let's celebrate our mama. Let's celebrate our Father in the Lord. In their absence, celebrate them. Celebrate the grace. Celebrate the oil upon their life. Celebrate the call of God upon their life. Celebrate what God is using them to do. Celebrate them, celebrate them for yielding themselves to the service of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate all the departments. Let's celebrate our wonderful choristers, our ushers, our protocols, our media department, our children department, every department, the youth department. Let's celebrate all the HODs, all the assistants, all the workers, all the laborers in the vineyard, all the chairmen and the chair ladies and the leaders. Let's celebrate them. Everyone is working good. Hallelujah. The, the prayer warriors. I saw I saw Ratunji look at me. Even the prayer warriors. Let's let's celebrate them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The intercessors. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Now celebrate your neighbor. Celebrate your neighbor. Celebrate that person standing by your side. Say, I love you. I appreciate you. Say, I love you. I appreciate you. I celebrate you. Hallelujah. There's nobody like you. Celebrate your lovely self. Celebrate your awesome self. Celebrate your big, your blessed self. Hallelujah. I will read it tonight. I will read it tonight. Psalm 61, 1 and 2. We are going to all read it together. Psalm 61, 1 and 2. I like, I like us to be reading the scriptures together because many of you don't read your Bible except when you come to church and they read for you. Amen. So I, I'm led to always uh, lead us to, to read together. Are we there? Make it big now. We're not seeing it. I want us to read from the screen because you might have a different version. Are we there? One and two. Hear my cry, O oh God. Media. Hear my cry, O oh God. Attend to my prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than. of victory make a noise of victory tonight I want to preach a message I title turn it to God tell your neighbor turn it to God you can sit down hear my cry oh God attend on to my prayer this is a prayer 
a man that knows his God. It's a prayer that a man that honors God, a man that knows the heartbeat of God. He says, hear my cry, O God. Attend unto what? My prayer. From the end of the earth, I will cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me, hallelujah, to the rock that is higher than I. When my heart is overwhelmed, when troubles want to swallow me, when situations become too tough, when troubles is embarrassing me, when I'm in pain and in sorrow, when I don't know what to do, he said, lead me. Lead me. Somebody say, lead me, Lord. Say, lead me, Lord. He says, in that Zachary, he says, when I cry, in 56 verse 9, when I cry unto thee, then shall my enemies, hear me, there's a cry, God will hear tonight. Somebody here, your enemies are turning back. I see your enemies turning back. I see poverty turning back. I see disappointment turning back. I see failure turning back. Tell your neighbor they shall turn back. Say that anyway. Say neighbor, they shall turn back. You see, when I cry unto the Lord, then shall my enemies, then shall my adversaries, then shall my mockers, then shall my haters. He said, my, they will do what? They will turn back. This I know for my God is with me. And Zechariah chapter 9, 11 and 12 says, in verse 12 it says, turn to the strongholds, you prisoners of hope. Prisoner of hope is those who are going through pains, but they know that one day it shall be over. A prisoner of hope is those who know the God they serve. They know that things are not the way they're supposed to be. They know that one day God shall come true for them. I'm here to announce to you that God shall come true for you. He said, come to your strongholds, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will render double unto you. Hear me? We serve an awesome God. I said, we serve an awesome God. You serve a God. A God. God is so awesome that the awesome call him awesome. God is so great that the great call him greatest. God is so mighty that the mighty call him mighty. God is so big that the big call him the biggest. I'm not talking to somebody. God is so great, kind, faithful, gracious, loving, caring. God is the mighty God. Tonight, we are talking about turning it what to God. Hear me? Nothing faces God and remains the same. Nothing challenges God and stands. I just want to briefly introduce to you the mightiness of your God. If you go to the Psalm 29, we, we have, we, 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 you will see how God's presence, God's voice is so mighty. Put it on. Psalm 29 from 1. He said, the voice of the Lord written for me. Yeah. Give unto the Lord, O ye mighty ones. Yes. Give unto the Lord glory and strength. Yes. Give unto the Lord the glory due to his name. Yes. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Yes. The voice of the Lord. The voice is, of the Lord. Is over the waters. Is over the waters. The God of glory. The Lord God of glory. Thunders. Yes. The Lord is over many waters. He said the Lord is over many waters. The voice of the Lord is the powerful. The voice of the Lord is what? Powerful. Powerful. The voice of the Lord is full of majesty. It's full of majesty. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedars. He said the voice of the Lord breaks the cedar. Yes. The, yes. The Lord splitted the cedar the of Lord Lebanon. The Lord splitters the cedar of Lebanon. He makes them also as... He makes them also to skip, skip like, like calves. Calf. Lebanon and Sidon, and Sidon, like a young, like wild a young ox. wild ox. The voice of the Lord, the mightiness, the voice, the greatness of God, divides the, the, the flames of fire. The voice of the, the Lord, voice of the Lord, shakes the wilderness. The, wilderness. the, the, the Lord, Lord shakes, shakes the, the wilderness, wilderness of Kedesh. Kedesh. Yes. The voice of the Lord, the voice of the Lord, makes the deer give birth. He said, makes the deer to give birth and strip the forest and bear. strip the forest bear. And in in and in his temple, every everyone, everyone says, says glory. glory. 
The Lord sat on throne at the the Lord the sat enthroned at the flood. And the Lord sits as the king forever. The Lord sits as a king forever. The Lord will give strength to his people. He said the Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord will bless his people with he peace. He said the Lord will bless his people with peace. If God can do all those things, he will bless you with peace. I say it is not impossible for God to bless you with peace. He said he will bless his people in the temple and he will give them peace. That is the God you serve. Touch your neighbor and say, that is the God you serve. You are not preaching this time. Say, neighbor, that is the God we serve. The God of a turnaround. The God of a turnaround. I see God turning around somebody's situation this night. When you turn it to God, everything must turn around. When you turn it to God, it becomes your turn. Turn, about, turn it to God and it becomes your turn. Anytime you turn something to God, it becomes what? Your time. Many of us are praying and say, Lord, when is my time? Turn it to God. He said, he said, he said, he said, turn to the strongholds. Turn it to the strongholds. You prisoners of what? Faith. You prisoners of what? Hope. Even today, I declare that I will render double to you. When you turn it to God, God gives you double. Tell your neighbor, have you turned it to God? Ask your neighbor, have you turned it to God? When you turn it to God, it becomes your turn. Anytime you turn it to God, it automatically becomes what? Your turn. Turning it to God is a demand. It's a must. Hallelujah. It must be a lifestyle. It must be a habit of every what? Every believer. Because hear me, there are battles you can't fight except God fights for you. I'm not talking to somebody. There are battles you can't fight. Except God does what? Fights it for you. The Bible said, Isaiah chapter 38. Read for me. From 1. We are going somewhere tonight. Isaiah 38. In those days, In those days Hezekiah, was, Hezekiah sick was sick. And near death. And, near death. and, Isaiah, the and Isaiah the prophet came. The son of Hermos. Yes. Went to him. Yeah. And said to him, Thus said the Lord, Set your house in order, yeah, for you shall surely die and not live. Yes, then Ezekiah turned. Bible his says face. he did what? Turned he turned. His face. Somebody said, Turn it to God. I don't know the news you have had, I don't know what they have told you will be, I don't know what they have prophesied over your life, I don't know the lies the enemy has put in you. I don't know, but this is God Himself speaking through His prophet Isaiah. He said, Go and tell Hezekiah. That that sickness is turned to death. I'm not ready to cure him. I'm not ready to deliver him. Hello. I'm not talking to somebody. What do you do in this kind of situation? When even the person, that God you think will heal you does not show up. You. I said there are battles only God can fight for you. That is why the Bible says, hear me, oh God, when I cry. Hear me when I cry. God will hear you today. I said, God will hear you today. I said, God will hear you today. You serve a God that hears prayer. You serve a God that answers prayer. You serve a God that restores. You serve a God that is full of mercy. You serve a God that is full of kindness. You serve a God that is powerful. You serve a God that can deliver you. No matter the situation or the challenges. You don't serve a dead God. You don't serve a fake God. You don't serve a smelling God. You don't serve a poor God. You serve a mighty God. I'm not talking to somebody. Bible says Hezekiah did not begin to run up and down to complain. Rather, he said, no, this is from God. And only God can turn it around. May you come to that level where you begin to trust God only. That in this, I know. Job said, in this, I know my Redeemer lives. He says, if, there is, if, the, if, 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 if the tree being cut down can still perceive the scent of water, he said, that tree shall spring forth again. 
You must come to that level in your Christian life where you trust completely in God and hand over your battles to God. You have fought this battle alone. You have fought it in the midnight. You have fought it in the day. You have fought it everywhere. Hear me, it is time for you to hand it over to God. Hand it over to God. Your battle ends. I want to go to somebody. Tell your neighbor, turn it to God. Whenever you turn it to God, you turn off the activities of Satan. Whenever you turn it to God, you, 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 you give, you make Satan to go on vacation. Whenever you turn it to God, devil goes to sleep. Whenever you, you, you turn it to God, demons go on exile. Turning to God is the easiest way to come out of every trouble, pain, suffering, and struggle, battles, and fear. Hallelujah. When you turn it to God, you are switching off the natural. You are switching off in the natural realm and you are connecting to the supernatural realm. Life is a battle. Hallelujah. Anytime, anything you want to have on earth must be better than the spirit. I'm about to go to somebody. Tell your neighbor, take it to God. Say, take it to God. Stop taking it to man. Man cannot help you. Bible says, what unto you that put your trust in the arm of flesh? He said, for the arm of flesh will surely fail you. But blessed is that man whose confidence, whose trust is in the Lord. He said, that man shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He said, he will flourish. His tree shall not wither. And whatsoever he does shall what? Prosper. God is seeking for those who can trust him. Trust him for a turnaround. Trust him for that breakthrough. If you can do it for A, you can still do it for B. If I've done it for your neighbor, he's still in the neighborhood. Am I talking to somebody? God is not the respecter of man and God is not a partial God. I say your God is not a partial God. God does not bless you because of your nationality. He doesn't bless you because of your color. He doesn't bless you because of your height. He blesses you because of his mercy. Am I talking to somebody? Turn it to God. No matter how difficult it may look now, turn it to God. Let your battle be turned to God. Turn your battle to God. When Elijah, when Elijah, when Elijah faced uh, Ahab in the Old Testament, in the book of Kings, the Bible says the battle was so much that Ahab was embarrassing. Jezebel was embarrassing Elijah. Elijah said, let us take you to our God. Tell your neighbor, take you to your God. Take, say it again, say neighbor. Take you to your God. When they embarrass you, when they torment you, when they misinterpret you, when they misuse you, take it to God. Elijah said, let us take it to God. Matter to somebody. Let us what? Take it to God. And they took it to the mountain, Mount Carmel. He said, let us do the God that answered by fire. Let him be our God. Take your battles to God. Stop taking your battles to your friends. Those who will mock you and laugh at you when you leave the house. Stop taking your battles to family friends and family relatives. They have no cure. They have no solution. Jesus is the only solution. I said Jesus is the only solution. El Shaddai is the only solution. God is the only solution. What God cannot do. Say with man is not possible. But not with God. For with God all things are what? Possible. If you can believe that all things are possible, it shall be possible. I say, if you can believe this word that all things are possible through in God, it can be possible. The only problem is without the ability, without the potential, without the greatness of our God, without the, the mightiness of our God, without the awesomeness of our God. I have seen God and I know what God can do. I'm not talking to somebody. Turn it to God. Turn your battles to God. Turn your, your, turn your, your problems to God. Bible said, cast your cares upon him. He said, my body is light. My yoke is easy. He said, my body is light. Turn it to him. Tell him, turn it to him. Say, neighbor, turn it to him. Stop turning it to your friends. Stop taking it to your friends. Stop taking it to your family members. Take it to God. Let God be your fighter. Let God be your defender. Let God be your healer. Let God be your deliverer. Let God be your helper. Let God be your sustainer. Let God be your lifter. Am I talking to somebody? Elijah said, let us take it up. Have you taken it up to God? Have you taken it up to God? Hallelujah. He will answer you. If you have taken it up to God, wait. 
He said, he that must come will come. He said, though he tarries, but wait for it. I said, he will come. I said, he will come. I said, God will show up for you. Heaven will show up for you. I said, heaven will show up for you. Whatever you place in God's hands doesn't die. Nothing. There's nothing in God's hands that dies. When you place your life, put your life in his hands, your life cannot die. Devil cannot mess you up. Am I talking to somebody? I said, am I talking to somebody? Let God be your helper. God what says, his word says, that the battle is mine, says the Lord. My yoke is easy and my body is what? Like Elijah said, let us go up. Let's go and settle this thing once and for all. If your God be God, let him answer by fire. And that settled the whole question, the whole war, the whole quarrel in Israel. Because the Bible said they called their God from morning to night. Elijah was mocking them. He said, call him. Maybe he has gone to the markets. They were calling the prophet of power. He said, no, maybe he has gone to shop rights. They were, no, he went to pick and pay. Call him very well. Maybe he went to the bank. He's withdrawing some money there. So that's why. He, the Bible said he had called from morning to night. Their God will, did not answer them. Hear me? I prophesy upon this altar. But from this altar, I prophesy that in the name of Jesus, anywhere your name is being mentioned for darkness, you shall not appear. You will not appear. Your family will not appear. Your picture will not appear. Your face will not appear. In the name of Jesus. Whenever you turn it to God, your blessings become your turn. Testimony becomes your turn. Somebody said, tell about it's your turn. Say, after tonight, it shall be your turn. I can't hear you. Say, after tonight, it shall be your turn. Because as you turn it to God tonight, it will become your turn. Blessings will be your turn. Testimony shall be your turn. Success shall be your turn. Joy shall be your turn. Breakthrough shall be your turn. When David turned it to God, the Bible says he recovered all. The Bible says they took everything he, he worked for. Took his wife, took his children. And he said, Lord, should I pursue? God said, pursue, overtake, recover. And the Bible says, David went after them and recovered what? Oh, when you take it to God, you will not go empty-handed. When you take it to God, you will not labor in vain. I said, when you take it to God, your labors will not be in vain. Your endeavors will not be in vain. You will not, you will not, you will not walk for enemies to eat in the name of Jesus. When Jacob turned it to God, Israel came out of him. The Bible said he battled with the Lord from the breaking of from, from night to the breaking of the day. He said, God, change my life. I'm taking this battle to you. My brother is coming from this side. Leopard is coming from this side. He said, Lord, it is time for a change. He took it to God. Take your battles to God. Take, go, go on your knees. He says, the Bible said, come, let us reason together. He said, bring your strong reasons before the Lord. Take it to the Lord. Take it to what? To the Lord. One of the major breakthroughs I've had in life was in this Cape Town. Many years ago, before the lockdown, things were too tough. I was preaching here, but things were tough. I was sweating here, but inside me, I know that it's not well. And I took it to God in prayer. In that room, I said, God, change this story. Change this story. May God change your story. I said, may God change your story. I said, God, change this story. Now, how can God change the story where I don't know anybody here? You see, sometimes God does mysterious things where you don't know. Not from Cape Town. A call came from Joburg. Man of God, pray. Man of God, do. Man of God, that. Under three days, money enter into my account. And that changed my life to today. Have I talked to somebody? Take it to God. I mean, take it to God. You, can, you, you, are, you are struggling because you don't really take it to God. Hannah took it to God. He said, God, I'm tired of this, this every year ceremony in, in Shiloh. I'm taking it to you. Take it to God. The Bible says she prayed. I prayed. I prayed. Now she said, God, if you can give me a child, that child will serve you. She took God on her ways. Because for, for the past year she has been going there. She has been asking God, give me a child. Now she said to God, I want to give you a child. 
Do you see the difference? Say, God, give me a child. For nine years, ten years, I was asking God, give me a child. But that day, she said, God, me, I want to give you a child. This child you give me belongs to you. But let this yoke be broken off my life. Let this evil record be cancelled in my life. And the Bible says, when, when, when Eli saw her, he said, woman, why are you so drunk? He said, my Lord, I'm not drunk. I'm just pouring out my spirit before the Lord. I'm a woman that wants a change. And she, he said to her, go, may the Lord of heaven answer your prayer. Bible says, and from there, her countenance changed. She came back to the Shiloh with Samuel. May you come back with a testimony. I pray for somebody here. I said, you will come back with your testimony. After tonight, after tonight, you are living here with that miracle. You are living here with that miracle. You are living here with that miracle. You are living here with that breakthrough. You are living here with that oil. You are living here with that grace. You are living here with that favor. You are living here with that favor. You are living here with that success. You are coming back with your testimony. In the name of Jesus. You are coming back. I said you are coming back. You can't turn it to God and remain the same. Am I talking to somebody? I turn it to God in that room. Turn it to God. I turn it to God. I said, God, change this story. Change this story. I need this story to be changed. And the Lord handed me on that three days. Who told you that God doesn't answer prayer? Who told you that God cannot bless you? I wonder if God did not answer that prayer. What would have happened to me during the COVID? God knew that COVID was coming. I never knew that COVID was coming. I never knew that there would be lockdown for six months. So God prepared me for that six months. Am I talking to somebody? You serve an awesome God. He knows your end. Listen, before you were conceived, he said, I know you. Before you were born, he has anointed you. Turn it to God. Stop listening to what men are saying. Stop listening to what the news is saying. Turn it to God. Believe in the Lord your God. He says you shall be what? Established. Believe his prophet and you shall prosper. Turn it to God. Am I talking to somebody? Jacob, turn it to God. He said, God, I'm tired of being Jacob. I'm tired of this embarrassment. I'm tired of this catrace. I'm tired of this run and hide. It's hide and seek story. And the Bible said, God said, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. He said, your, your problem is your name. He said, from today, you shall no more be called what? Jacob. But there is Israel in you. Am I talking to somebody? Just because he turned the battle to God. Just because he turned the battle to God. Touch your neighbor again and say, neighbor, turn it to God. Say it again. <laughs> turn it to God. Turn it to God. Turn it to God. The Bible says in Psalm 37 verse 5, it says, commit thy ways unto the Lord. Trust in him and he shall do what? He shall bring you to pass. Commit your ways. Commit your ways. Commit your ways. Commit your ways. Commit thy way unto the Lord. Trust also in what? In him. Trust in him. Tell about trust in him. Oh, you're not saying it very well. Say trust in him. Commit your way to the Lord. Not, 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 not any, say, commit your way. What is your way? Which way are you going? Which way do you want to go? God is able to take you through that way. I said, God is able to take you through that way. He says, I am the God that makes a way, even when there seems to be no way. Am I talking to somebody? He said, commit your ways to the Lord. Trust. Trust. Tell about trust. Shout it. Shout it. Yeah. Let them hear it very well. Because many of you don't trust. Don't be a church goer. Be a church truster. Be a God truster. I'm not talking to somebody. Trust God. Even in pain, trust God. I'm not talking to somebody. Even in hard times, trust God. I'm not talking to somebody. Even when things are bad, trust God. Uh, Peter and Paul, I mean, Peter and who? John, they were in prison. They trusted God even when they knew that the next day they were going to be killed. They still trusted God. They trusted God. Paul and Silas were in prison. They trusted God. And they were singing even in that pain. They were worshiping God in that pain. 
They were praising God in that pain, in that chain. And the Bible says, when he came up to God, the Bible says, the foundation of the prison began to shake. May your trust in God bring proofs and evidence to your life. May you see the hand of God upon your life. As we get your trust God from today, may you see the hand of God walking speedily in your life. In the name of Jesus. May you not remain where you were before. You can't trust God and remain the same. He's too faithful to fail. I say he's too faithful to fail. He's too faithful to fail. He's too loaded to fail you. They were trusting God. Even in chains, they were trusting God. In prison, they were trusting God. In tears, they were still trusting God. The Bible says, at the foundation of the prison, began to shake. And the chains fell on their own accord of their hands. May that anointing locate you. You don't hear it very well. I say, may that anointing locate you. May the same anointing that located Paul and Silas in prison, that broke the chain without a key, nobody came and lose them. Power of God came down and lose them. May that power come upon you. May every chain in your life be broken. May every chain on your neck be broken. May every chain of slavery be broken. May the chain of barrenness be broken. May the chain of poverty be broken. May the chain of sickness be broken. May the chain of death be broken. May the chain of poverty be broken. May the chain of failure be broken. In the name of Jesus. Just trust. It was their trust and confidence in God that made the foundation to begin to shake. Angels came in, opened the doors. Bible said, and the doors opened on their own accord. Doors open. No, no, no bulldozer. Spiritual bulldozer enter the prison. I don't know where you have been locked up. As you as you chew this message and as you digest this message, may you have a visitation. May an encounter that will change your life come to you. May that yoke be broken in your life. May that yoke be broken in your life. That yoke of delay, that yoke of denial, that yoke of rejection, that yoke of failure at the peak of success, that yoke of rise and fall, that yoke of near success syndrome, may it be broken in your life forever. In the name of Jesus, the yoke of hatred be broken, the yoke of fear be broken, the yoke of poverty be broken. You are sitting down. I said, May the yoke be broken. Stand up and receive it. I said, May that yoke be broken. I said, May that yoke be broken. May that yoke be broken. May that voice be silenced. May that voice be silenced. May that evil voice be silenced. In the name of Jesus, that beat they did for you, they will fall into that beat. You will not die before your time. You will not die prematurely. You will not be a failure. You will not be a loser. You will be a champion. You will win your battles. You will conquer your enemies. You will defeat poverty. You will defeat failure. You will defeat barrenness. In the name of Jesus, in your going that you shall be blessed. In your coming you shall be blessed. In the name of Jesus, you will testify. I say you will testify. I say you will testify. In the name of Jesus. Just trust God. Just trust God. Just commit your ways into the hands of God and trust in Him. Commit their ways into the hands of the Lord. And do what? And trust in Him. And trust in Him. Somebody said, trust in Him. Somebody said, trust in Him. Daniel turned it to God. When they said, Daniel, don't pray that prayer here again. Don't pray that prayer. That prayer used to pray. Don't pray it again. In this kingdom, we are only allowed to the God of the golden image. And Daniel said, no, I'm too anointed to pray. I'm too converted to pray to an idol. The Bible says, in the night, in the morning, in the day, in this prayer season, he opened the gate wide. He opened the windows wide so that they can hear him. Hallelujah. And they caught him. Threw him to the dark. The, the, the den of the lions. The Bible says in the morning, the king himself came and said, Oh, Daniel, has the God whom thou serve, whom you believe, has he been able to deliver you from the hands of the, of the lions? He said, Oh, king, live forever. For the God whom I serve have sent his angel to shut the mouth of this. Oh, my God. He said, God has sent angels to shut the mouth of this lion. I see God, the God of the harbinger. I see the God of this GRA shutting the mouth of lions in your life. I see the God of the harbinger shutting the mouth of the lions in your life. 
You will not die in that ten. You will not die in that ten. You will not be devoured in that ten. That trouble will not kill you. That failure will not kill you. That sickness will not kill you. That disease will not kill you. You are coming out in the name of Jesus. That shall be your testimony. That the God whom we serve is a faithful God. Somebody says a faithful God. Give me another hand. Say it's a faithful God. Give me another hand. Are you in the spirit? Hallelujah. He said, the God whom we serve. The God whom we do what? He said, the God I serve. Has sent angels to shut the mouth of this lion. Hallelujah. And the mouth was shut. Why? He turned it to God. He said, God, if you are the God I serve, you are the creator of this lion. Before the foundation of the earth, lions were not made to devour us. They were made to be our friends. Turn their senses. Let them see me as a brother, as a friend, as a companion. Let them bring their big head and put so that I can sleep well. And, and, and the Bible says, and then and, 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 the, and the king said, from today, let the God of Daniel be worshipped. May your testimony depopulate hell, populate heaven. May your prayer through depopulate hell and populate heaven. In the name of Jesus, turn it to God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, O king, we are not in a, in a haste to answer you. For our God shall show up. But even though he doesn't show up, we shall yet not bow to you. We shall not never. When you turn it to God, he becomes, a, he becomes the fourth man in the fire. He becomes the fourth man in the fire. I see God's presence going with you. You will no more struggle. I say you will no more struggle. When his presence is with you, the pit they did for you shall swallow them. When his presence is with you, the one they bury shall bury them. When your presence is with you, the one they send shall backfire at them. If you believe in shot the bigger, amen. The Bible says, and they threw them into the fire. But they didn't know that fire needs fire. It becomes a consuming fire. When they threw them into that fire, the same man said, but we threw three men. How come there are four? He said, the other one said, it's like the other one, the fourth one, is last, the son of man. He looks as Jesus. Listen, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't give it to him and be alone. Tell your neighbor you're not alone. Oh, say neighbor, you're not alone. You see, you must kill that fear of being alone. You must allow that fear to die. Devil wants you to believe you're alone. Devil wants to be to believe that no, you don't have a helper. Devil wants you to believe that you're alone. You are not alone. He says, I will not leave you. You may not see him, but he's there. He said, I will not leave you, neither will I forsake you. Am I talking to somebody? He said, You said, he said, I will not leave you, neither will I forsake you. He said, even though you go through the fire, he said, I will be there with you. He said, the fire shall not burn you, neither shall the smoke smell on your body. He said, You shall go through the water. He said, That water has no power to drown you. Am I talking to somebody? He said, no weapon that is formed or fashioned against you shall ever prosper. He said, a thousand shall fall by your side only. Ten thousand at your right hand side. He said, none of them, none of them shall come near thee. With your eyes only, you will see the downfall of your enemies. He said, I will be with you. He said, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Am I talking to somebody? He said, I will clothe you with honor and glory. He said, those that hate you, they shall come bowing to you. He said, I will order your footsteps. Anyway, where you go, I shall go with you. Am I talking to somebody? He said, you will order your footsteps. You shall tremble upon serpents and scorpion spirits and over the powers of the enemy. He said, nothing shall by enemy insult you. That is the God you serve. Trust God. Trust God. He's a life changer. He's a destiny changer. Am I talking to somebody? Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Don't think things have come too wrong. No! Encourage the brothers. Encourage the sisters who are not in church. Tell them God is still alive. If he has done it before, he can still do it again. If he has ever blessed you, he can bless you again. Am I talking to somebody? 
If he has ever lifted you, he will lift you again. Don't kill yourself. Don't go hang yourself. Don't commit suicide. Don't drink poison. Your God is watching for you. If he's not working now, he's working it up there. He said, I will prepare table for you in the presence of your enemies. Turn it to God. Turn it to God. Turn it to God. You will not be disappointed. Turn it to God. I said, you will not be disappointed. He said, I will not fail you. I will not fail you. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But he said, my word, my word. That prophecy will not die. Your prophecy will not die. Your prophecy of being a billionaire will not die. Your prophecy of being a millionaire will not die. Your prophecy of rising will not die. Your prophecy of owning your own co- it will not die. Your prophecy of dedicating your own child, it will not die. No prophecy dies before God. I said, no prophecy dies before God. Your prophecy will not die. I said, your prophecy will not die. I said, your prophecy will not die. Jesus was given. Bible says, and 5,000 men were following Jesus. And Jesus said to Jesus, send them away. Send them away. They are hungry. Three days crusade. No food, no water. Jesus said, no. Let them sit down. Let them sit down. I have a God. I have a Father. He will never, never fail me. I have a father. He will never, never fail me. Jesus is my father. He will never, never fail me. Rock of ages. Never. David said, since I was born. He said, now I am old. He said, I have never seen the righteous forsaken. Is that, is that, is that word not enough for you to be courageous? Is it not enough for you to, 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 to wake up, dress up, and show up? Is it not enough for you to make up, wipe your tears, make up, look nice, smell nice, and come out? He says, since I was born, now I am old. He says, I have never seen the righteous. Tell them, say, you are the righteous of God. Say, you are the righteousness of God. Say it again, say, you are the righteousness of God. Say you never forsake you. Since I was born, we used to sing in those days. Since I was born, and now I am born again, I have never seen the Lord change yet. You know that song. Since I was born, and now I am born again. Have you seen? No, 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 no. People who know this song are old school, old school, old school, old school. These are songs that encourages us those days. If you are mocking, if you are laughing at us, we will sing this song for you. It's the song that comforts us. Even when we are broke, we are serving God. Even when we are moneyless, we are still serving God. Even when we are mocked, abused, chased away, rejected by family, we will go out and say, since I was born, now I am born again. I have never seen my Lord change it. Have you seen? No, 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 no. I have never seen the Lord change it, change it, change it, hey, 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 change it. When you sing it like this, there's an oil, oil, glory that rests upon you, because you are, you are, you are, you are professing and confessing the mightiness of your God since you were born. Now you were born again. Being born again is not to punch off her. You are born to reign. Jesus says we are born to reign as kings and princes on this earth. Am I talking to somebody? Jesus asked them to do what? Sit down. Tell them about sit down. Your provision is on the way. Say neighbor, sit down. Your provision is around the corner. He says sit down. Now, the Bible says, they say they have five loaves and three fishes. Only five loaves. For 5,000 men. Minus women. If you add women, there will be 15,000 plus their children. 5,000 men married to, let's say 4,000 of them is married. Calculate it, it's 9,000 already. Plus their children. So we're born 16, 15, 7, 5. It depends on how they went. Let's say it, they were 1 million. Three loaves and five. Five loaves and what? Three fish. And the Bible says, Jesus turned it to God. Tell them what turned it to God. 
when you feel empty, turn it to God. When you are not satisfied, turn it to God. When you feel rejected, turn it to God. When you don't know what to do, turn it to God. I better go to somebody. When you are disappointed, turn it to God. He said, God, he said, Father, he didn't pray too much prayer. He said, Father, thank you for thou heareth me always. Thank you, Lord, for thou do what? Heareth me always. Bible say he brought it down and said, Give them to eat. And the Bible say 5,000 men were fed, plus their wives and their children. And the, the remain was 12 baskets full of bread and fish. There was remain. May you experience as you trust God, may you experience supernatural abundance. May there be an overflow in your life, overflow in your business, overflow in your income. Overflow in your house. Overflow, overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow, overflow. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace for overflow. Receive the grace for overflow. Receive the grace for overflow. Jesus taught us there that he's the God of overflow. He said, I will supply your needs according to my riches in glory. Who break the, who break the breads? Who made the fishes? Listen, anything you are looking for on earth is in heaven. I want to go to somebody. Anything you are looking for on earth is in heaven. There was a day I was so broke. I was so broke. This this thing happened last month. Something happened. I, I needed money. I, I didn't know. You no, know, it was I was going to Mafikin because I just visited Mafikin during the Easter. I went for a program there in, in Mafikin in Northwest. So that week, I was preparing my, my clothes to travel. I don't know what I did. I just, I just saw a bundle of money drop. I said, when did I, when did I keep this money? You see, God, I'm telling you till today, I don't know where that money came from. It was in 200. I said, me, I don't even forget where I keep money. Oh. I don't forget where I keep money. So this is a mystery. I'm telling you, I don't, I don't hide money. Yeah, I don't hide money. I don't hide money for who? Should I hide for my wife or my daughter? They don't steal. I don't live with any other people that my family. So I don't hide money. If I come, I throw my... If I only thing I have, I leave it on the table. That's how I behave. The one I put in the bank, I put in the bank. My family have access to my money. Okay. So I was wondering, what did make me go hide this money here? I don't... I'm telling you, that money solved problem for me. When I look at it, I say, this money... Did you keep any money here? No. I called my daughter. I said, did I give you any money to keep for me? He said, no. Where did this money come from? May God give you miracle money. There's a treasure around you. There's a treasure around you. May you locate that treasure. May you locate that money. May you locate that treasure. In the name of Jesus. You serve a mighty God. I said, you serve a mighty God. Bible says, and the remaining was 12 baskets full of fishes. And what? So Proverbs chapter 3, 5 to 6, it says, trust in the Lord. Again, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. It says what? Trust in the Lord. Somebody said, trust in the Lord. I want, I want to build your faith tonight. I want you to live here with that excitement, with that, with that energy that tomorrow will be better than today. Something must happen. Something must happen. This year you will end it in smiles. This week you will end it in smiles. This month you will end it in smiles. The rest of this year you will end it in smiles. Well, look at some of your face. I, 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 it didn't shock me. You must smile. Tell the person you must smile. Say, I prophesy smiling. Divine smiling. Say, you must smile. Be a prophet to somebody. We are not playing here. Your, your words are powerful. Stand on your feet. Tell five people you will smile in Jesus' name. Tell your neighbor you will smile. 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 You will laugh. You will testify. God will visit you. God will show up in your life. God will put money in your hands. God will bless you. 
God will prosper you. God will elevate you. You will be a success. You will testify. You will become rich. You will prosper. You will go forward. You will march forward. You will conquer. Victory is your portion. 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 Financial victory. Financial victory. Financial victory. Financial victory. Financial victory. In the name of Jesus. Say neighbor, you will smile. I can see everything turning. Everything. I see everything. Are you sure? Are you singing this song because you know it? Or you are singing with faith? I can see everything. I see everything. I see my life. I said I can see everything. I see everything. I see everything. I see I can see everything. I see everything. Everything. I said I can see everything. It's turning around. It's turning around. I said I can see everything. I see everything. I see everything. I said I can see everything. It's turning around. It's turning around. I said I can see your life. Your business, your work. I say I can see your destiny, your job, your life. I said I can see everything in your marriage, in your business. I say I can see everything financially, spiritually. I say I can see everything financially, spiritually. Proverbs chapter 3, 5 and 6. Proverbs chapter 3, 5 and 6. Are you happy? Say neighbor. You will smile. You will smile. Whether they like it or not. I said, whether they like it or not, you will smile. I said, whether they like it or not. Because when you cry to the Lord, your enemies will turn back. The things pursuing you will turn back. Am I talking to somebody? I said they will turn back. And he said, I will give you double. I will give you what? Double. I will give you trouble. When you turn to the you, when you turn to the strongholds, you prisoners of faith, he said, God will declare and render you what? Double. Say double. double. Say double. double. Double is coming your way. Yeah. Proverbs chapter th- th- it says, trust in what? In the Lord. Tell about trust in the Lord. the Lord. With what? All your heart. With your head. No, your heart. With your feelings. Your heart. With your emotions. Your heart. With your dressing, your with your car, trust the Lord with your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. On your own understanding, in all your ways, your ways, acknowledge Him, acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your paths. Your paths. Seven. Do. N- do not be wise in your own eyes. Do not eyes. be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. And depart, and depart from, from evil. From when you turn it to God, heaven will turn to you. When you turn it to God, angels will turn to you. When you turn it to God, good news will turn to you. When you turn to God, mercy will turn to you. When you turn to God, goodness will turn to you. When you turn to God, grace will turn to you. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? When Moses turned into the Lord, before the, before the Red Sea, the Bible said, and they cried to Moses. Say, Moses, why have you brought us this far? Should have left the same people that say, we are tired of Egypt. When they came before the Red Sea, 
They say you should have, you should have left us there. That for uh, 30 years was better than for us than for us to die before this Red Sea. And the Bible says, and Moses turned to the Lord. And God says, what do you have in your hand? He said, the same stick. He said, that same stick that performed miracle, that same stick that led you into Egypt and brought you out of Egypt, that same stick in your hand shall divide this water. He says, stretch forth your stick. He said, for the enemies you once saw, the enemy, because you have turned to me, because you have turned to me, the enemies you have seen, you shall see them no more. I prophesy over somebody's life. The enemy you once saw, after tonight, as you embrace this message, you will see them no more. You will see them no more. That midnight enemy, you will see them no more. That enemy that hinders your business, you will see them no more. That enemy that torments you every day, you will see it no more. That enemy at the edge of your breakthrough, you will see them no more. That enemy that is swallowing your testimony, you shall see them no more. That daylight enemy, you shall see them no more. Every hired enemy, every convoluted enemy, every assigned enemy, against your life as you turn to God like Moses as you cry to God you will see them no more I stand upon this exalted altar by the grace upon the habit I speak into your life the enemy you once saw that enemy that made you cry that enemy that made you weep that enemy that made you to, to ask God where are you that enemy that brought tears from your eyes you shall see them no more you shall see them no more. 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 That marital enemy, enemy that mocks your marriage, enemy that mocks your health, enemy that mocks your endeavor, enemy that mocks your personality, that enemy shall collide with the rock of ages tonight. You shall see them no more. In the name of Jesus. I said you shall see them no more. 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 In the name of Jesus. You shall see them no more. Mary Magdalene, the prostitute, came to Jesus. After many years of her prostitution, she decided to turn to Jesus. When she got to Jesus, the Bible says she began to cry. After crying, she used her hair to wipe away her tears in the feet of Jesus. And she got out an alabaster oil and poured on the feet of Jesus. And Jesus was provoked. He said, nowhere this gospel shall be preached that this woman's name will not be mentioned. I don't know what you are going through, but God is about to announce you. I said, God will announce you. The God of GRA will announce you. The God of this commission will announce you. The God of Prophet Bodwin will announce you. The God of the Harvey Angel will announce you. Anywhere, anywhere the millionaires are called, you shall be mentioned. Anywhere the billionaires are called, you shall be mentioned. Anywhere the entrepreneurs are called, you shall be mentioned. Anywhere great men and women are mentioned, you shall be called. In the name of Jesus. Your name shall be mentioned. By the grace upon this commission, greatness shall emerge from your life. We shall celebrate you. We shall celebrate you. We shall celebrate you. Begin to worship the Lord. Begin to worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. Worship the Lord. I will trust in you. Ooh. I will trust in you. 
Oh Lord, the reason I'm living is to worship you. Oh Lord, tell God, say Lord, I'm I'm handing over the battle. Like Hannah handed over the battle, Elijah handed over the battle. Lord, I'm turning to you. Hezekiah turned to the Lord. And the Bible says, more years was added to his life. He said, when you cry upon the Lord, your enemies shall turn back. Your enemies shall turn back. Cry to God. Try, pray. Ask God to answer you. Ask God to distinguish you. Ask God to elevate you. Tell God what you want in your life. Don't pray just like because you want to pray. No. Tell some God something. Say, bring your strong reasons. Say something big to the ear of God. He said, whatever you shall say to me, I hear it. I will do it for you. Say something unimaginable. Tell God you want to be a billionaire. Lord, I want to control empires, chains of business. I want to be in control. I want to be an entrepreneur. Lord, I want to, I want to own my own investments, chains of investments. Tell God how big your dream is. What are you hungry for? Are you only hungry for three square meals a day? Are you only hungry? You're only hungry for a car to drive around? Are you only hungry for, 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 for money for fun? Are you only hungry for a boyfriend and a girlfriend? Are you not hungry for a husband? Are you not hungry for a wife? Are you not hungry for a child? Are you not hungry for a family? Are you not hungry for your own house? Your own building, houses, change of business. Are you not hungry to be the head above the first? Pour out your spirit for the Lord. Hannah said, I'm pouring out my soul before the Lord. Tell God that which, which we will make heaven. Tell God that thing that looks impossible. There's nothing God cannot do. There's nothing God cannot do. There is nothing God cannot do. Stop belittling God in your mind. Stop disqualifying yourself. Stop talking down on yourself. Stop looking down on yourself. Tell God to make you a royalty. That you are not born into royalty doesn't mean you are not a royalty. Ask God to make you a royalty. Let God take you to where champions are. Connect you to champions. Tailblazers. Pilonias. Connections. Ask God to do mighty and great things in your life and through your life. Ask God to download you with wealth. Not money. Stop asking for money. Ask for wealth. Ask for wealth, not money. Ask for wealth. Lord, I need wealth. I need wealth. I need wealth, not money. Wealth. I need wealth. He said, I will give you the wealth of the Gentiles. The riches of darkness. I will give you wealth. He said he will. You are not, you are, you are not, you are not, you, you are, you are, He's not talking about somebody else. He's talking about you and I. He said he will give you the treasures of darkness, the wealth of the Gentiles. So ask for it. Don't be scared. Don't be afraid. How he will do it is not your business. All you know that he's going to do it. All you know is that he's going to do it. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our Father, we thank you. We bless you. Lord, we have heard your word. Turn it to God. Lord, we have turned it to you. No man turns to you and remains the same. Any man that turns to you, you make every impossibility possible. When blind Bartimaeus turned to you, you made him to see. When the one of issue of blood turned to you, issue of 12 years ended. Hannah turned to you and you gave her Samuel. Many who turn to you were never disappointed. Lord, as your people turn to you this night, may they not be disappointed. 
I said, may they not be disappointed. Because of your sovereignty, Lord, visit them. By your mercy, visit them. Give them wealth. Give them riches. Your word has promised that you will give us the riches of the Gentiles. Lord, let that riches locate them. Let that riches locate them. Connect them to their greatness. Connect them to their connection. Connect them to the unbelievers that will bless them. If unbelievers can bring treasures to give to Jesus when he was born. Father, it is not yet too late. It is not yet impossible. You have not stopped blessing. Lord, there are people holding the treasures of these ones. Let those treasures be released now into their hands. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, as cold water is to a thirsty soul, so shall we hear good news from afar. Any man and woman here expecting the good news from afar, receive that good news in the name of Jesus. Receive that good news in the name of Jesus. Receive that good news in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, hope defies, make the heart to be sick. But when there is answers to prayer, it is the tree of life. Lord, by the grace upon this commission, grant them answers to their prayers in the name of Jesus. Grant them answers to their prayers in the name of Jesus. Give them that their desire. Give them that baby. Give them that child. Give them that twins. Give them that husband. Give them that wife. Give them that connection. Give them that breakthrough. Grant them access to the level of billionaires. In the name of Jesus, that house you will buy it. That property you will buy it. That business you will open it. Whatever is in your heart, receive it in your hands. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. I grant this prayer with the blood of Jesus. As you live here today, you are living with the divine grace. The grace of your Father goes with you. The oil of your father remains with you. You will come back with testimony. As Hannah returned with testimony, you return with testimony. I said you return with testimony. You return with a testimony. You return with your testimony. You return with your testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray.
sickness and little above sickness and disease. Let this offering fight for you. Let this offering speak for you. Let this offering defend you. Let this offering open doors for you. Money shall meet money in your hands. Favor shall meet favor upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. I can see everything turning around. Turning around. Turning around. Turning around. Oh my God. I can see everything turning around. I see everything turning around. I see everything turning around. Turning around, turning around, turning around for my good. Everything is turning around for my good. Now so it's turning around, it's turning for my good. Come on. I want you to stand up and dance. Stand up from your seat and dance. Dance a dance of victory. Stand up and dance. Give a dance of victory. I want everyone to dance. Stand up. Stand up and dance. Stand up. Dance. Oh, I dance. Oh, yeah. I want us to dance. Too. This message, you're supposed to rejoice. Turn it around. Turn it around. Yes. Turn it. As you dance, your enemies shall be put to shame. From this night. It shall turn around. That's all. I can see everything turning around. It's turning around. It's turning for my good. I see everything turning around. Turning around. Turning around for my good. I can see everything turning around. Turning around. Turning around for my good. If you know you have your tights, those with their tights. Okay, Father, we thank you. We bless you for the life of your son and your daughter. In obedience, they are standing before you, bringing their time before you. I pray that heaven shall be open for them. Windows of heaven shall be open for them. You will pour down blessings that even their storehouse, their accounts will not be enough to contain. Lord, let their source of income continue to be open. Open more channels for them. Give them more breakthrough. Greater testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Let any form of devourer assigned, hired against them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Let their hands be lifted in victory to the glory of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Are you blessed today? Hallelujah. All right. Announcement. Our annual men's convention will start on the 26th of May to the 2nd of June. Can you put your hands together for the Lord? Did you hear what I said? Your annual convention, men's convention, will start from the 26th of May to the 2nd of what? Of June. All men should kindly redeem their levy towards the men's convention to either Brother Francis Ayidu or Brother Chica. Hallelujah. If you need more information, kindly meet the men's chairman. Amen. Any man interested in, any man interested in joining the men's drama, please meet Brother Lucky. Omokoro, Osha, after the service. Any man interested in joining the men's choir should please meet Brother Ernest by the choir after the service. Believers class will continue on Saturday by 6 p.m. Members are advised to subscribe to the church broadcast. Those born in, in the month of April should send their birthday dates to media department. Prayer meeting will be on Friday. Prayer meeting will be on Friday. 11.45 p.m. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Is there any new person I miss? If you know today is your first time, you are coming here for the first time, you are worshiping with us for the first time, put your hands together for the Lord. Can we welcome him and praise him, shake him? Bless you, my brothers. You are welcome. 
Look like twins. Are you twins? Hallelujah. I hope you're happy today. You're, you're blessed. Yeah, this is how we do it here. This is GRA, Lord Restoration Assembly, where God is residing. Amen. That is our confidence that God resides here. You can see the lovely brothers and sisters, the way we worship God. There's no magic. There's no gymnastic. We come here, we dance, we celebrate, we hear the word of God, and we believe every word of God. We are world-based ministry. Hallelujah. So we enjoy your fellowship with us here. We welcome you. We celebrate your presence here. It is God that brought you here, not man. And we know that the God who has brought you here has something for you. So therefore, we're going to pray for you. Our midweek services are like this on Wednesdays, 6 to 8 p.m. Sunday morning, 9 to 11. And Sunday evening, 6 to 8 as well. Amen. We're going to pray for you because we know that you're coming here today. God has sent you here. And whatever is your heart desire, God will grant it unto you. We all came like you and we are here today. And we believe that as you have come, we are part of us in Jesus' name. Stretch forth your hands towards them and begin to pray for them. That God that brought them here, we honor their footsteps, bless their life, do something great in their life, visit them, give them the desires of their heart. Whatever is their desire in this nation, that God will give it, give it to them. They will not die prematurely, accidentally, mistakenly. They will not go back in the coffin. They will not go back in, the, in, in, in debt. They will fulfill their mission, their vision here. They will make money. They will prosper. They will go forward. They will succeed. They will live a godly life. Their lives will bring souls to the kingdom of God. Their family shall rejoice of their coming to South Africa. And in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We bless you. I pray for your sons who are standing before you this day. I pray that your mercy will, will, will rub upon them. Your grace will be with them. The grace and the glory of this commission will envelop them in the mighty name of Jesus. They will not die prematurely. They will not die accidentally. Whatever is their heart desire, you shall grant it unto them. Open doors, unusual doors, uncommon doors for them in the name of Jesus. Bless the works of their hands. Order their footsteps in this land. Let them be at the right place at the right time with the right people in the mighty name of Jesus. I cover them with the blood of Jesus. That for them to enter here today is for a purpose. Father, may heavens open over their lives in Jesus' name. Thank you, Abba Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Now, my brothers, we are welcome. God bless you. Look at our sisters. Look at those beautiful sisters. Go to them. They will tell you more about the church. And then you take it from there. God bless you. Put your hands together for the Lord. Can we all stand up? What else to pray? Should we pray again? The grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of the Father and the reception of the Holy Spirit be our abide with us now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Surely, don't move around. Hey, 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 wait, wait, listen, listen. When you're sharing the grace, honor the grace. You don't share the grace, you're walking up and down as if you are talking to your mates. Stand one place, share the grace. This, this 30 second prayer, you can't pray, or 10 second prayer. No, don't disrespect God. When you share the grace, stand still. When you share the grace, you honor God where you go. The grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us all now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all, all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. My name is Pastor Bodu Machuku, the Senior Pastor of Glory Resurrection Assembly. I trust that this message has been a blessing to you. If you're not giving your life to Christ, just repeat this simple prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I'm a sinner, but today I confess you as my Lord and my Savior, and I believe in my heart that you died and rose again for my salvation. By my confession, I give my life to you. Thank you, Jesus, for serving me. If you have said this simple prayer, I assure you you've been saved. Please look for any Bible-believing church.